নমস্কার হ্যালো আমি ডক্টর শুদ্ধ সত্য সেন সিনিয়র কনসালটেন্ট জি আই এইচ পি বি কোলোরেক্টাল ল্যাপ্রোস্কোপি অ্যান্ড ক্যান্সার সার্জারি কলকাতা সো দ্য টপিক দ্যাট উই আর গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস টুডে ইজ অন প্যানক্রেটিক টিউমার্স অ্যান্ড হোয়াট আর দি ডিফারেন্ট ট্রিটমেন্টস ফর দিস টিউমার্স সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ওয়ে ফরওয়ার্ড না প্রাইমারিলি উই মাস্ট নো দ্যাট হোয়াট ইজ প্যানক্রিয়াস ইটস আ গ্ল্যান্ড which hugs the duodenum that is a part of the food passage lies between the colon stomach going right up to its tail near the spleen now pancreas is two parts broadly when it comes to a clinical condition it is the head neck uncinate region and the body tail region now today we are going to focus our discussion primarily on the pancreatic adenocarcinoma or what we commonly call is a pancreatic cancer a pancreatic cancer can be again broadly divided into two types the ones adenocarcinoma of the head neck uncinate region or of the body tail region so normally what happens when the tumor is in the head neck uncinate region the commonest presentation is with painless obstructive jaundice how do you know that there would be yellowish discoloration of the eyes there will be yellow color urine there will be white color stool there can be itching over the body because of the increased bilirubin in the blood so these are the common features however it can present with fever then it is an infection in the bile already which is called cholangitis it can present as a very large mass which is probably one of the rarest it can present simply with back pain and one entity which a lot of people miss out a lot of doctors miss out is that a known diabetic who otherwise had a controlled sugar level but now the sugar levels are grossly fluctuating and usually they are more towards the elderly side that is aged patient or a new onset diabetes the patient was non diabetic patient was doing fine suddenly starts losing weight develops anorexia that is loss of appetite and then you have a sugar level which is fluctuating so you do a scan you may see a tumor in the pancreatic head neck region so apart from that it can spread with uh, to different organs and can present with features of metastasis which can be water inside the abdominal cavity that's it called ascites spread to the peritoneum it can cause intestinal obstruction it can cause duodenal obstruction stomach obstruction giving rise to vomiting it can spread to the liver giving rise to jaundice giving rise to pain it can have a varied presentation of all sorts of metastatic disease now how do we diagnose normally it is a clinical suspicion along with that we would do a basic ultrasound blood test which would show that the liver functions are altered then ideally the diagnostic and staging test is by a triphasic ct scan which is arterial hepatic portal and hepatic venous phases so on this there is something called a pancreas protocol which is very specific for the pancreas by which we would diagnose stage the disease and if we find it is not involving the blood vessels called the portal vein and the superior mesenteric artery then we would want to take the tumor out which is a very extensive call probably called the queen of all surgeries the most difficult surgery called a vipul surgery well it has a modification also whether you save the antrum and pylorus of the stomach that is a part of the stomach or you take out that part of the stomach if you save it it is called a traversal long bile or a pppd if you don't take it out it is called a classical kosh vipul operation which is the commonest operation and usually to us it is the most favorite operation and we do very frequently that's why i love this operation but having said that it is a very complex operation with a complex resection where the gall bladder part of the bile duct uh, the entire duodenum part of jejunum the tumor the pancreatic head neck and uncinate along with the part of the stomach is removed now whatever is cut out to take the tumor out completely has to be again reconstructed so, so that the bile the pancreatic juice and the stomach content can again pass into the food passage which is a complex reconstruction with the pancreas then the bile duct and then with the stomach so that is what is done in a vipul surgery it is a big surgery all sorts of complications can happen leaks can happen our results have been excellent outstanding but then again uh, results depend on hand skills experience center to center but these are difficult surgeries complications can happen leaks can happen bleeds can happen deaths can happen but it is definitely with more and more advanced uh, skills technology the results have gone better and better with death rates have gone drastically low 
the complications rates are regularly coming down so this is probably the best option for the patient now let me also tell you which most doctors don't discuss is if you don't do an operation what happens what happens is this tumor you leave it there you let it spread and then this patient is going to suffer every day till death so you sh not only shorten the life you reduce the quality of life and finally you can't even save the finances because it is going to become a daily expenditure it's going to become expensive much more expensive than already an expensive surgery now regarding the body tail tumor what we do is something called a distal pancreatosplenectomy but nowadays more advanced more radical cancer surgeries are done which is called a radical anti-grade modular pancreatosplenectomy so it can be a ramp one or a ramp two depending on which plane of dissection you are choosing how do these tumors present unfortunately the body tail tumors most of them are inoperable at diagnosis unless you are trying to take out the blood vessels also which is by something called an appleby procedure similarly in repulse also we do portal vein resection if the veins are involved some centers even do arterial resections though most of the people still find it debatable and probably rt involvement by the tumor makes it inoperable similarly in head, body tail tumor it usually presents with pain non specific symptoms weight loss loss of appetite you do scans you find a large tumor in the body tail region many of them would be inoperable some of them would be operable and what you do is you go in and do this operation provided it does not spread out now center to center skill to skill varies some may decide that if the arteries are involved uh, that is the blood vessels are involved you would not operate but again depends on expertise we would always try to take it out unless it's a non metastatic that is non spread out disease but like i said center to center experience to experience surgeon to surgeon variations are there both are acceptable but whenever any of these tumors are near or involving the blood vessels we call it a borderline tumor so there comes two types of decision one group of surgeons are conservative they believe they should not be operated one group of surgeons are aggressive they believe it should be operated what is the right path probably if the patient can tolerate the surgery trial of operation is better than not doing anything because by not doing anything you're not allowing the patient to have a chance to survive see it is just like if you don't give an exam you're expected to fail you obviously fail but if you do give an exam even if you're less prepared is there still a chance that you would succeed pass or at least you'll get more wisdom to pass surely the next time but if you don't try you definitely fail so all these borderline tumors also need a trial of resection again body tail tumors can also have pancreatic fistula leaks and other bleeding and other complications having said that with more experience and more teamwork and more number of volumes and quality Uh, the results are far 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 better than what used to be yesterday so thank you for now this is just the first video and we are trying to give you uh, more knowledge whether you choose dr sen and team or whether you choose somebody else some other doctor doesn't really matter as long as you choose what is right for your patient thank you so much